And in the Middle East, the IDF announcing last hour it eliminated five Hezbollah cells that tried to launch rockets at Israel. The Israeli military says it conducted its largest ground invasion into northern Gaza so far since the war with Hamas broke out. IDF tanks and infantry targeted Hamas hotspots, striking numerous terrorist cells. The soldiers are now back on Israeli soil. Officials say this operation comes ahead of the, quote, next stages of combat. Israel now says at least 224 hostages are being held by Hamas. Let's bring in Virginia Attorney General Jason Miyares and Virginia Beach Sheriff Rocky Holcomb. They are both working to donate law enforcement gear to first responders in Israel. So, Attorney General Miyares, uh, let's talk about that. Tell us about this effort to help out. Well, I mean, I think since October 7th, this has been a great moment of moral clarity. It's unfortunate to see some moral confusion in some areas of the country where people are chaining and saying they're openly supporting Hamas, which is a known terrorist organization. We thought it was important for us to pop up with partners, volunteers that have, have uh, reached out with this idea. Let's get for, uh, equipment, protective equipment to IDF and first responders. And so we went out to all of our friends, our, our friends in the law enforcement community, police chiefs and sheriffs said, hey, if you have any surplus equipment, any equipment that's either unused or, or even slated to be destroyed, we have individuals right now that need that in Israel and team up with us to work with us to get it over. And I've been really humbled by the overwhelming response, including from my good friend, Rocky Holcomb. And, and we've gotten so much equipment over that we're working with some volunteers and now begin the process of shipping it over and we're excited about it but really this is just a moment of standing with really only the the only functioning democracy in some ways in the Middle East a thriving pluralistic democracy that's really under attack and again this requires moral clarity from the West and it's very disappointing to see some have moral confusion sheriff you could have donated this gear to a number of fighters in need yet you chose Israel why well, when, well, good morning, first of all. And when the Attorney General reached out to us and uh, Attorney General Miares asked if we had any excess equipment or any equipment that was vouchered for destruction or maybe no longer in service, we certainly started looking through our uh, inventory and we found some equipment and it, and it was our honor to donate it. And I'm glad that, we, that he had requested it. AG Miaras, there's also horrific news that we're following out of Maine, this mass shooting where uh, it looks like dozens of people uh, have died. Certainly dozens have also been injured. Uh, the Attorney General Merrick Garland has been briefed. The statement is that he's been briefed and will continue to monitor uh, the situation closely. Federal law enforcement agencies are assessing our state and local law enforcement partners in Lewiston, Maine. So this is an all hands on deck situation, federal, local and state. What is your reaction to this horrific mass shooting this morning? Well, first, just as an American, this is just absolutely horrific. It is literally the face of evil. And then someone that has been a prosecutor and worked with law enforcement, I realize that this is really a time for our law enforcement heroes to be able to do their job, uh, because you have two parallel tracks right here. You have both to secure a crime scene, secure the evidence, make sure you're following all the chain of custody rules. We also have a manhunt. And so you literally, this is in many ways much more complicated uh, than some of these other instances where we are now trying to find what is still an ongoing active shooter situation. And I think that requires a huge amount of resources when you're literally doing a manhunt. I can't under, I can't stress enough just the amount of resources that go on to find one individual, including one that is considered armed and dangerous. So I'm glad to see our federal partners are on the way. I do think it is wise. This doesn't necessarily just stick right there in Maine. Everybody has to be diligent, particularly in the northeastern portion of the states. But then your heart just breaks for, for the victims. We've been touched ourselves in in Virginia Beach, in Virginia, uh, with with a mass shooting a number of years ago at our at our city hall, and you just you you get to know these victims, and it's every every uh, family's worst nightmare because now tragically there's going to be an empty chair at every Christmas or Thanksgiving, and uh, the trauma for the community is is going to be real, and it's going to require an enormous amount of of healing. But right now the goal is to allow law enforcement to do their job. We have to find the shooter. We have to make sure that we both separate the witnesses, talk to the witnesses, and, and get all the evidence, because this is most likely going to end up, obviously, in court with a criminal prosecution. And I'm fully confident they're going to prosecute this individual yeah, to the and, fullest extent of the law. And obviously, you want to make sure everything is buttoned up, even though it does feel like an open and shut case. AG Miaris, Virginia Beach, Sheriff Rocky Holcomb, we appreciate both of you coming on.